Well, what have we got here? We've got some water, and some water, an empty beaker, and some eggs. And what we're going to do is, we're going to take a look at that density and find out what it's all about. Because the more molecules that are in the water, the more likely things are going to float. That's density. Let's try an egg in normal water. What's it do? It sank. Let's get some mineral water, some bubbly water, if I can undo it. Take a look at this. Whoa, look at that. Now this water's got a lot of air in it, a lot of oxygen. Have a look. Oh, oh, what's happened? The egg's floating. Why is that? Have you ever noticed when you've gone to the sea and you've gone floating in the ocean, that it's easier to float at the beach than what it is to float in the pool at home. The Dead Sea in the Middle East is really salty. You can float there really easily. It's all about how many molecules are in the water to make things float. Just like why a boat floats better on salty water than why it might on plain water. Let's also look at this. We're gonna add some salt. Now, by adding salt, we're gonna make the water really, really dense. Lots of molecules in this water. What do you think's gonna to happen to the egg? Let's have a look. It floats. So, when the water's very, very pure, and we might say it's thin, the egg will drop to the bottom because the water's not very dense. But when we've got bubbles in the water, or we've got salt in the water, then you'll find that the egg will float. Density! So the more molecules that are in the water, the more likely something is going to float. I told you, water is amazing! Now try it at home, and why don't you try a few other things? Try some few, few liquids and see what you might get to float. Do some things float better than others? Join us next time for another one. Another great experiment. See you later, guys.